What's going on guys? Bobby here and we got a really special video for you guys. So just like last season with Carl, I decided that I wanted to get another 1k like two days before the season ends. And this time I decided I wanted to do Gene. Now why Gene? Because when Gene just came out, I was the number one Gene basically straight away like Carl. And I really, really enjoyed the Sprawler. Now I got him to like 920 but he wasn't really that good back then, and they gave him a little bit of a buff, and now you saw, you started seeing a lot of people getting him to 1k. Now, a lot of people got him to 1,000 trophies already, so shout out, let me just get to the leaderboards real quick. Shout out to Marlex, Marcel, and Akil. All three of them are great players, but I, I really wanted first place, so I had to get to that 1,007 trophies. So with that being said, I'm just going to show you guys two games real quick of me playing Gene. It's going to be in the replays. I'm sorry I couldn't get, a, get it live. I was in VC as well as I was listening to music while I play because that helps me play better and I really wanted to get that 1k. So without further ado, let's get into the games and I'll show you guys the 1k footage. So here we go into the first game. Now before we start off, I want to let you guys know a little bit about how to push a brawler to 1k. Now what happens is basically a lot of people from the North American side use this thing called tribe matchmaking. Now what this is, is this is a matchmaking that allows you to more or less not be able to face many of the good players in uh, just in the North American region. Now, I don't want to throw shade at anyone, but there aren't too many good players and all the good ones seem to be using this matchmaking. And this is what I did from when I got from 930 to 1000, which is the hardest, uh, which is the extremely, extremely hard part. This part took me like five hours. Matchmaking is seven minutes every time, which is what I want to get into next. Now, matchmaking, once you reach such a high amount of uh, trophies, you actually start facing lower players. Now, why? Now, they try and match you within the 100 to 200 range of your brawler. And with everyone using this tribe matchmaking and your brawler being so high, there's literally nobody in the North American player pool. So nobody just basically on the west side of the world that, can, that has a brawler that you can match up against on your mode. So what it does is it waits seven full minutes. And once you hit seven minutes, they just throw you a random team, which is 400 or 500 cups. Now, why do they do this? They do this so you're not waiting in matchmaking literally for an hour long. We had nobody to play against for the past like four hours. So if, if the system wasn't like that, we'd literally be waiting in matchmaking, not facing anybody for four entire hours, which is obviously an issue. So that's why we're facing lower skilled teams. Now you saw a lot of comps and when I was actually pushing Carl, we played on this map and we faced Triple Bowl and they got zero, they, they didn't get a Siege bot for the entirety of the game and they still won solely because of the fact that they're, they're Triple Bulls. It's an unfair comp, they just charged the safe and won like that. Now this comp does counter Gene a lot. We did lose one time on this Gene journey from 900 to 1000 and that was the Ark, Ash, and Drage. So shout out to them for, uh, for, you know, for being good players and all even though a little bit of shade they did definitely get that counter comp on but anyways you can see we're, do we're putting up a lot of pressure what you want to do with gene is we played this comp we didn't have this we didn't have a barley which is the best brawler on this map or a frank who's the second best brawler on this map so you're going to think that this comp is really hard to use but i'm pushing a 1k osiren just hit 900 leon and we actually just finished playing and jigsaw's at 992 pam now he's going to finish up that 1k later but with that being said, we're all pushing 1k, so this comp wasn't meta. So something we did was instead of going all out, we held position basically for the entirety of every single game. We didn't go all in. You can see it, we had two pushes and we only did 38%. Just because we're not going in, we're making sure we have pressure, we're kind of killing them. We're doing what we can, but we're holding pressure for the entirety of this of the game. And we, did, we never had any one push wins or two push wins because of the strategy. We were kind of just laying back, letting them come to us, us chipping away and killing them as we have a Leon, a Pam, and a Gene, brawlers that can chip really easily. So it was pretty easy from that perspective. We didn't face too many skilled players, as I said. We, we faced a couple good ones, but they were mostly with randoms, to be honest. So it was kind of easy games. That's why we didn't lose at all. It's extremely, it's an extremely tilting experience losing a game at this amount of trophies because you lose 16 in Siege and you gain four at a time with a seven minute matchmaking and four minute games. It's like a 45 minute experience from losing one game to getting your brawler back. Now we had three pushes, we got it to 31% and you can see with the, it took literally, it's been three and a half minutes and they've picked up one, one bolt so far. So that, that, that's a good, as, like that just shows you guys how much pressure we're holding down in the mid now That's a great play right there if you're alone and you're a gene You can pull them into the zone right over here where the Ike is actually able to shoot them And the, and the Ike can as, do additional damage as well as your shot like you saw right there when I killed the Leon And it's a great way to kill them kill them super quick So they're not able to pick up the bolt now this game was crazy I don't know ex the exact number because I obviously I'm not counting 
but I, I didn't miss a single gene pool and I swear I probably had 15 plus. So the fact that I didn't hit that, I didn't miss one and I hit 15 plus, I think that more or less shows that I'm a pretty good gene and that I'm not, you know, I'm worthy of the 1K. But anyways, they kind of gave up at this point. We're up 70%, they have no chance of getting a bot. So they're kind of just spinning, having fun. That's gonna be the end of the first game. So I didn't talk too much about gameplay and I just spoke a little bit about gene, but let's get into the second and final game that I played. And I'm gonna talk about gene and a lot of strategies that you guys wanna use when playing him. Let's get into the game. So here we go, here's the last game, the 1003 to 1007 game that I played. And this game was a scare because Jigsaw just went AFK. I have no clue what happened. He said he didn't load into the game, but you know, he's just chilling back there. Typical Jigsaw trying to throw. But anyways, we're gonna be facing three people on our side alone over here. A Siren's gonna come in and help out. But when you're a gene, you like facing brawlers that are 4,400 health or lower. Now, why? It's because you can hit three shots. You do Every shot you do with a max gene does 1,400. And then you can hit like a range shot for 233, which is going to kill anyone at 4.4k or less. So when you pull someone, you obviously don't want to pull a tank. You want to pull like a thrower or a weaker brawler or a range brawler like Colt, Rico, someone like that. Now you can see over there, even though I did leave that Mortis alone, I did chip him so he doesn't regain health. Now I did miss a shot over there because my finger slipped pretty dramatically. And they actually got the first bot. So here I'm thinking, you know, I think Jigsaw's a bot. You know, I think... This, this isn't going well. They have a Pam, they have a Mortis, which doesn't really counter us, but it's something funny. They have a Mike, which again, doesn't really counter us, but it's something really funny you don't see often, you're not really prepared for. So I thought this game was actually gonna go really poorly. Jigsaw standing still half the time. Here's a pro move, something you guys wanna do, is pull the robot out, because not only will it target the closest brawler instead of the robot and kill them, but it'll give you like an additional 10 seconds, an additional 10,000 damage of the Ike doing to the bot. So you can see me and Jigsaw over here 2v1 in this brawler. You can see Jigsaw missing every shot. Like I have no clue what Jigsaw is doing this game. He actually did play pretty well. So shout out to Jigsaw outside of this game. This game actually had me going crazy and extremely, extremely scared that we were going to lose. And I'm going to have to grind him all the way back up to 1000 after this like traumatic experience of just grinding him for the entire day. So you can see we're kind of just chilling. We're waiting for the Pam to pick up the bolt. Then we're going to kill her using the Ike shots and our pull, which is a really good strategy to do alone. We did like 6k health because of that pull. We did just get our first bot over there. We're going to be targeting the Dynamite. Pretty easy kill. He's going to run away though. We didn't want to use our pull for a one shot because it wouldn't really recharge that well. So I'm going to go up with Gene again. I'm not going to be going up too far. We're just going to be maintaining pressure. I'm going to be going for direct hits on the safe, but then I went over there to kill the Dynamite just because it ended, the uh, the bot died, and we wanted to maintain control because the Siren was just YOLOing and going up. I went up right beside that Pam, and I'm pretty sure I pulled it. Yeah, I pulled the Pam, got her too, and stayed real close to that Dynamite. As you guys can see, I was the only one alive. The Siren just spawned back in. We're able to get the Dynamite. Now we're right beside that Mortis. We're going to get that gem, or not, sorry, not that gem, that power up. We walked inside the Ike area so that the Ike would hit the Mortis. It's really important to utilize that Ike, guys, as much as you can, especially when you're an underpowered brawler such as Gene. You guys can see that Pam's going to pick it up. We were going to go for the pull, but we decided it wasn't really necessary. We have eight, they have six, so it's really close. I'm going to get one more off, I think. I tried to pull the Pam because I thought the Pam was going to get the, what's it called, the bolt, but instead the Mortis got it. So we didn't end up getting a bolt. So although that's not a waste of a pull, it's not as valued as I'd want it to be. So we're just going to go up over here. Again, we're trying to maintain possession, even though there's 65% left. It's probably going to be our last bot because we have zero, they have nine. So we're really going all in at this moment. But they are playing some great defense with the Pam and the mic. So we weren't able to do as much percentage as we wanted to. They had a nine power up and they have a funny comp in which it's kind of hard to counter and kind of hard to defend because it's really unexpected. So we were kind of very scared of what's going to happen. Now, Siren wasn't in voice chat, so I was kind of worried that he wasn't going to understand to sneak on the safe. Now, a little bit of a sneak peek. He does sneak on the safe. I start to go away from the Dynamite and flash my super in just a second I'm, so I can send like a signal to Osiren. I don't think it happens yet. I'm just waiting for it. Oh, geez. I don't know what happens. I might have said it a little bit too early. I think it's right around here. I start moving back out of frame of the mic and start flashing my super, signaling Osiren to go. So he goes, he uses his super. I was gonna move forward as a distraction as they think I'm going for the as they think I'm going for the safe. I'm gonna shoot the Pam and Osiren is gonna come right through the back, end it off, and that's gonna be the game that got me the number one gene 
1,007 trophies. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was awesome grinding him, although extremely tiring. It was definitely awesome grinding a brawler to 1k. If you guys want to see another 1k, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll do whatever you guys want me to do. With that being said, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.